Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, my channel. So today I am in the mood for a bold fall look, something I uh, probably never did on my channel before. And I will be featuring the brand new Tati Beauty. Look at this. Look at this. It came in this box and I do not want to get rid of the box. Like she looks so beautiful. I don't want to throw this box. I think I'm going to cut that picture off. I am such a big fan of Tati. I feel like she's one of the youtubers that i definitely am certain i would want to meet one day i just find her to be very very honest and genuine so let's dig into the palette so i got this the day it launched <laughs> that's how excited i was about this palette it retails for 48 dollars and this is what it looks like it's very like sturdy and firm and it has a very nice like soft velvet uh soft matte velvet sort of finish to it uh, I find the packaging to be very sleek and beautiful. It comes with a very large mirror, which is like, I guess you can see my background there. Yes. Look how large this mirror is. It's like, ooh, it's so beautiful. That's like very important in a palette for me, like a mirror. Like I like mirrors on everything because we're constantly looking at your face. So you just want something that's just very like um, right there in your reach. And this is what the palette looks like. It is like a neutral girl's dream. I just love the arrangement of the palette. It comes in like uh, four different formulas. You have the matte formula, the sequin, the metallic, the glitter, and the names of the, the, um, the different colors. You have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, poet. This is what it looks like. I mean, I'm not gonna do any swatching, so I'm not big on swatching and things like that. I'm just gonna create a look using this palette. You would definitely see a lot of this palette. It is just such, it's beautiful. I think already I'm being bad. This is gonna be one of my favorite go-to palettes because that's the kind of colors that I like every day. And it gives you the option of being glam when you want to be glam or whatever it is. I just feel like it's a very, very good. And it has this really nice matte black in it. I love black in my waterline and stuff like that. Like I feel like black is like very important for me and have a palette with it. Because normally I would reach for another palette with the black, but this one, it just has everything that I would want in a palette. Love like the arrangement of the palette. It's like, it's so unique. I've never seen anyone um, done anything like that. And just leave it up to Tati to do that. I mean, what do you expect? She's the queen. <laughs> you know, it's just arranged in such a beautiful, like the storyline, like it's, look at it. It's just like amazing different textures so to break it down so it's like different textures of the same name so you have different textures of memory and memory comes in matte it comes in a sequin it comes metallic and it comes in glitter she, she kind of made it easy for you to create a look just using one of the, the the um the colors memory story poet whatever there's a transition color you know whatever it is it's you know she simplified it for you so i really do like that like i say i'm not going to be going into swatches this is not my first time when i got this palette i was so excited i had to open it so i did swatch somebody i just want to see how it's going to perform on my eyes i haven't done it that way yet so that's what we're gonna do my entire face makeup is done my eyes are primed so we're just gonna jump into the look and I kind of sort of have an idea of what it is I want to create I'm definitely seeing me doing a Christmas look with this palette definitely definitely I can't wait to play with this glitter right here he's just calling my name it's like Rachel Rachel <sighs> anyway I'm gonna start with the color Sue I'm going to start to apply that on the outer V of my eyes and drag it um, into my crease. I'm using this J Jaclyn Hill and Morphe GH34 brush and this has been, this is like my favorite brush to use for anything. Like I just love the shape of it. It's just a beautiful brush and I'm going to get myself some more. Since I bought this brush, I haven't used any other brush like for my crease color or whatever. It's like, it's just amazing. So, so far the color is very, I'm getting some kickback when I'm like picking it up, but it's very, very smooth, buttery and creamy. And I am not getting any fallout and I am, it is not patchy or anything like that either. It's blending nicely so far. I'm going to take the color on the same brush. I'm going to take Ritual. It's a deeper brown. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to start like depositing the color on my, out my outer V. And lightly dragging it inwards in my crease. Mm. 
these colors are really like soft i'm trying to think of what they remind me of i think some of the best shadows i've ever used like um in my time like the formula that i love the most and all the, that i've tried so far is like the makeup forever um formulas i feel like they're, they're so nice this is like wow So that build up nicely and I think this brush makes it mm, so much better. Oh my god. I switched my brush. I'm using a Sigma E25. I'm going to take some of the black shade. I need to try this black. See how it works. Memory. They're just so soft. And I'm just going to tap some of that right here as well. And I'm not bringing it too far in. I'm just like sort of blending it with the other shades but I'm not going all the way in just to deepen the outer V of my eyes. So it's the emo drama. Hmm. I like it. Did I mention that I'm not getting any fallout here? Did I mention that? In case I didn't, I'm not. So I'm just gonna go back in that Soothe color. Like this one, Soothe, and a little of Ritual. And then slightly just go over the edges again to just diffuse it even more. All right, so I heard so much about the shade Aura. So I'm gonna try Aura, but I'm gonna take it in, that's, that's Aura, I'm gonna take it in the sequin formula. And of course, I have so much lights so you don't see. This one has a lot of kickback. And I'm gonna apply that in the inner corners of my eyes. I got a pimple on my eyelid like can you believe that this never happened to me before never happened to me before and it's the worst place to get a pimple I don't understand why it came out over my eyes I've been having so much like breakouts recently my skin is getting so sensitive like I think I need to visit a dermatologist because it doesn't matter what I use on my skin I'm just getting this little breakouts and stuff that never used to really happen to me before so my skin is like changing before my eyes getting pimples on my lids can you believe that and she said that the formula was designed to like you know from when you have like more aging eyes like you're getting older and stuff you can have like lines and wrinkles which I have on my eyes so it makes it look smoother and it's very very smooth I will say very 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 smooth I love this oh my god look at her eyes all right, so I think I want to add some glitter. So I think I've tried all the formulas here so far, but I'm going to try the glitter and I'm going to take the glitter in Aura as well. Should I take the glitter or... I'm going to go with the metallic first in Aura. I'm using my finger and I'm going to apply that over. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's amazing. I'm just going back with my brush to just blend the edges to diffuse them so you don't see where one begins and where one ends. Okay. And of course, I have to try some glitter. And I'm taking the glitter in Aura as well. Oh, I die. Look at this. I die. Dead. Oh my god. Dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. I'm using my finger because sometimes your finger picks these things up better and just, you know, deposits it nicer than a brush. And I'm just being kind of messy with it. I'm not like trying to keep it too much in the lines. I like the look of a messy eye kind of so i did get some fallout with the glitter i'm just gonna dust that off see how it comes off all right and there you have it it went all in my lashes now i want to try it wet so i'm gonna take the shade aura in the metallic formula this one in the metallic formula to wet my brush with some setting spray and apply that just again in the inner corners of my eyes just to see how it's gonna be. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh, 
<laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Tati. Tati's gonna change the makeup game, you guys. She has to. She's been doing this for way too long not to change the makeup game. Like, oh. Look at this. This is so pretty. And I like the more the eye looks that look more undone like just effortless i always say that like they're just flowing nicely and i i don't always like the cut creases and whatever i just this is my jam right here so for my bottom lashes i'm gonna take memory and i'm gonna bring it like halfway into my eyes like three quarter way more like three quarter my bottom lashes and then i'm gonna take the color again Ritual and sort of off the edges off. I feel like ritual for me. I thought it would have been it's nice, but I thought it would have been like More like pack the color on with a punch like I feel like I have to build it up It's not as brown as it looks in the in the palette like when you apply it on your brush and you apply it on your eyes I feel like it's not as rich When I do it. it's not getting as brown like I feel like you know What am I trying to say? Do you get what I'm trying to say? But it's so smooth, it blends nicely, but you can build it up to the brown. But like looking at it is not the brown that I got when I went in to, um, to blend it out. I'm just noticing that as I'm using it again. Oh well. Then I'm gonna take Aura in the sequin shade and apply it to the rest of the eye that I didn't put any black shadow. It's so like the inner third of my eyes. I'm taking Aura again in the matte shade and I'm just applying that to my brow bone. This color seems like a color you can use to help lighten a transition color. I see that. She spoke about it but I see that now. So you can apply that color all over your eyes and use like maybe if you wanted to make Poet um, in the matte formula uh, transition shade, that's something you could do. Like look at my eyes people. Look, oh my god. Oh my god, Tati! Tati, you did that! You did that, bitch! You did that! Ooh, ooh. I am going to apply some gel liner in my waterline and I'm using my Maybelline Black Gel Liner. Alright, so I went off camera and I applied my Remel, Remel Lashes, uh, Remel Lash Accelerator, my bottom lashes, and I used my favorite mascara, Princess Lash Princess by Essence, on my top lashes. So I'm going to go back off camera and apply some lashes. I'm going to use the Soul Whiskey line from Kiss. I'm going to use number 9 or number 7. I don't know which one is going to go best with the look. And yeah, so I'll be right back. So before I go, I've been using some lash serum from L'Oreal on my lashes. And I swear my lashes are long, girl. But they're thinner. They don't have volume like they used to. But they're very long. Like, look at my bottom lashes. Just thought I'd mention that. If you're struggling with your lashes. BR Boost Kiss So Wispy number 9. I hate the number 7s. I like my lashes so drama free. Anyway, so I want to add some highlights to this look, but I want something that's more uh, not too golden. Let me see. Let me see how this works. I'm going to try the Anastasia one. I had this one for a while in Starlight Illuminator. Let me see how this is going to apply on my cheeks yeah this this is perfect it's not too gold and it's not too silver yeah baby give it to me give it to me baby nice and slow Woo. damn i have not used this highlighter in forever my cousin gave me this oh my god this highlight is popping this is sitting on my vanity to be used for the rest of the week all right, time for the lips. I'm trying not to talk too much because I don't want to make this video too long. Hence the reason why I don't do much talking through videos because you guys do not look at my video in its entirety. You all cut off in two and three, five minutes. Y'all don't look at my videos to the end. Like, why not? <laughs> why not? Uh. Anyway. Black lips today. If that's not bold, I don't know what is. 
So let me try some of Memory in the metallic this color. And tap a little in the center of my lip. It's not bad, huh? Not bad. This palette is amazing. That's my review. Don't think, just get it. I have my hair natural and I've decided that I am going to put chemical back into it because I never go natural to keep it natural and it's a pain in the ass to have to flat iron my hair all of the time. I hate that. So I'll pop two uh, clips in my hair. Hair accessories is like a big thing now. Anytime you want to um, like just give your hair that little extra mm -hmm. hair clips and hair accessories is the way to go. It's making a comeback. It's the big thing. Get yourself some. I am loving this darker color here on me. Like it's like 430 like it makes my makeup look nicer it stands out more i just i love it so so much tarty beauty palette you guys it's a must i knew i was going to love it i was going to be biased it's very difficult for me to think of tati as as giving us a product that's going to be shit she's been doing this for way too long to give us shit products okay that's how much i believe in tarty that's my review just get it that's all get the palette hi if you're new here my name is rachel welcome to the family if you haven't already please subscribe like comment share and ring that little bell that you see to get notified of my videos there's going to be a change on my channel soon i have a whole host of things planned for the um the coming year so thank you so so much for watching and for the support so far i really really appreciate it um, all my friends and stuff who gives me feedback on the phone and through text and stuff we don't leave a comment leave a comment comment it in the comment section that's why it's there you know what i mean so, um i will leave everything in the description box um the products i use on my face and everything like that will be in the description box also all the links to my social media accounts follow me there to see my work i am a nail technician and a makeup artist so everything will be there the links of how to book me as well so thank you so so much for watching let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and i'll see you in my next video next week bye guys